So guys, I am back with yet another Black Myth Wukong video and today guys I bring you what in my opinion is the best minecore farm in this game It's something I see many many players are interested in Now I ain't gonna go over the odds like I'm seeing so many other content creators state Hundreds per hour just isn't possible in this game anymore Especially since they stealth nerf, I'm sure they stealth nerf the minecores on how often they drop. Now I've been doing this for about 25 minutes max and I've had close to like 15 of these and um, we'll see exactly how many we have. Okay, I've got 14 minecores in about 20-25 minutes. Those are kind of odds you're going to have in doing this. It takes place in chapter 3. It's a route we run which takes about 5 minutes. There's like 15 plus enemies which have some of the best chances in this game of dropping those minecores. So this one you don't want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm the winner of last week's Black Myth Wukong game giveaway. You can see on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord link down below. Now do you guys want to win Black Myth Wukong or any game of your choice for that matter? Well it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, make sure you are subbed and leave me a comment down below. The more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. Okay so chapter 3 like I said. Uh, you need to come to or be at or progress by actually in fact i think you can't avoid this in regards to progress in the game uh, so new west new thunderclap temple yes you have to come here because you have to fight the yellow bro who that fight takes place here and it's so damn annoying people but either or temple entrance is where you need to come to guys new thunderclap temple like i said and we're gonna run this route which again is about between 10 and 15 enemies I haven't counted exactly each drop of decent will and a e experience too so four five hundred per as well so this is the first one who i will say is probably the hardest guy you're gonna fight in this whole run i mean it's up to you, you can fight him or run past him if he's a bit of a pain in the ass for you uh you can run past him like i said but he actually has real good chance to drop in this will so yeah it's just that attack there it's like when he hits you with it he just non-stop okay so there we go we got a minecraft from him straight away so that's a good but I've been running this, like I said, for quite a while. I'm getting an average between three, one and three per run. But I have done a couple of runs where I've got none. So you have to keep that in mind too. So this is one of those uh, overseeing monks. These guys are blind, but they have that annoying ass punch there, which just seems to hit you from no matter which way they're facing. And there's like 10 plus of those guys who are on this route. So after we've taken him out, guys, we're going to run up this staircase on our right hand side there. But to make it more efficient on yourself guys, or easier on yourself, I'll probably take out these guys here who just drop that thunder on your head because there's two more monks at the top of these stairs who, by the way, when you're fighting them, these will drop that thunder on your face and it just makes the whole thing just horrible. So yeah, there's one and there's two. So these guys are going to fight now. Oh, who are you trying to hit? You know what, if I didn't mobilize him then, he probably would have got me that punch because... The range on it, the AOE on it is unbelievable. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, unless you actually... The more you farm these, the more you'll get used to them. So yeah. Now we've got this guy up there. Obviously save up your focus points too, because it's real good to help you against these guys, because it knocks them over. It gives you a few extra seconds of just three hits on them. So there we go. So there's another one. They also drop up for materials too, by the way. And from them two, we're going to come this way, guys. Um, and these two here, you want to take out too. Because again, these two just drop that lightning on your face when you try and get those combos off against the monks. So, yeah, it's ruining the progress. So, yeah. Now, guys, you want to come down here. And you'll see in front of you, there are three more of these monks. Now, you can take these out as you normally would. Or if I were you, I'd probably use your duplicates. It's up to you. But there is another group of um, four monk so yeah it's up to you exactly how you do it i prefer to do it this way there we go another mine core there where are you going boy you ain't going nowhere so we're taking him out and now we've got this guy right here but now do this guy once we take this guy out there's a big guy here in our path now i've killed this guy if i don't keep getting slapped in the face about 10 times, it never dropped me a minecore, it did drop me another item, but nothing special, so I'm just going to run past him, it's up to you though if you fight him, he gives you about 500 experience and 400 will, so it's completely up to you, but yeah I'm just going to avoid him for now, 
So we're running past him guys, you wanna come. Just dodge, just dodge, just dodge, just come up this ramp and he should leave you alone. And then guys we have another monk right there. We're gonna take out. Badoom! Haha, <laughs> you almost hit me with that then. I dodged into it. Okay, hit me with that. Pain in the ass. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so he's down. And now guys are gonna run to the last four. There's three together here, and there's one by himself praying to a turtle statue. But yep, yeah, we run up here guys. And then we can see him right there. Now if he just pull out your duplicates here if you still got them, if you didn't use them back down there. And then just fight away. Fight away, people. Badoom! Badoom! I forgot I got my yonder arrow. Yondu arrow. That guy there is hitting a the tree, but somehow hitting me at the same time. Marvellous. <laughs> just like that. Uh, so yeah, we take this guy out right here. And uh, we've got this guy here too. If you'd focus on him game, that'd be very helpful. Boom. Okay, so he's down. And now we've got the last guy right here, guys. Who we take down and then we reset it by using our talisman. To go back to. I don't know what my arrow's doing, it's just doing nothing. I'm just getting punched in the face with it's there, laughing at me. But ooh, boop, but boop, 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 boop. I'll let you have that punch. And there we go, guys, from here. You simply choose your incense trail talisman. If you have it, make sure it's equipped in one of your quick access slots. So you can use it to fast travel back to that uh, shrine and rinse and repeat that farm, guys. It really is as simple as that. Again, it's took me about six minutes to run it, uh, but I'm explaining things you could do it much, much quicker than this. What I will say is as well guys, I have a few things on my person which helps me in regards to drops. So we have this right here, a helm, the school of turtle treasure. This will increase basically materials dropping upon me killing an enemy, pretty cool. We have three curiosities here. We have the gold flow hairpin, again increases that will. We have the celestial registry tablet, increases experience and we have the golden carp, increases obtaining materials from defeated enemies and we also have guys a lantern holder and this increases that well now i'll put a video in the video description of how you get all five of these items it's very very easy to be honest and that'll be linked down below but there we have you guys uh, not a bad minecore farm whatsoever again i've got 16 now in about 30 odd minutes so yeah not a bad farm at all take advantage of it while you can guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one.